You've probably noticed that the vertical axis is in dollars, which doesn't make sense for the units sold series. To plot different types of information on the same chart, you will probably want to create a combination chart. First, select the data series that you want to appear as a different type of chart. Let's use the Units Sold series. Then, on the Charts tab, select the type of chart that you want the series to appear as. Let's go with this Marked Lines chart. Keep in mind that you can only combine certain types of charts. For example, you can't combine a 3D chart with other types. Notice that the series now appears as a line chart and the legend updates to show a different style. That's better, but the data points still appear as if they're measured in dollars. To fix this, let's add a secondary vertical axis that uses the correct scale. First, select the Units Sold series. Then, on the Format tab, click Format Selection. In the left pane, click Axis, and then select Secondary Axis. Now, the right vertical axis shows a range of values for the Unit Sold series. And to make sure it's clear what the axis values represents, select the Secondary Axis, then on the Chart Layout tab, click Axis Title, point to the Secondary Vertical Axis Title, and choose the style that you want. Finally, let's change the secondary axis label to read Units. In the final lesson, we'll finish up by looking at how to copy and print a chart as well as how to use it in other Office applications.